right, here we go. You know where he's from, right, Pat? Where's he from? The great state. OH. Oh, oh, I oh, buddy. <laughs> oh, come on. Yes. Fuck this guy. This is bullshit. Welcome back to the show. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. We are so thankful that you're here. What you heard there as we came in from break is AJ getting accustomed to the person that will be joining us here in one second. This man, I guess, is from the state of Ohio. Um, <laughs> he's an all-pro fullback for the San Francisco 49ers a couple weeks ago. He was just pancaking everybody this past week. He tried to jump over seven guys. Ladies and gentlemen, freak <laughs> athlete, Juice Kyle Yuscha. <laughs> What's up, guys? I, I, I had a feeling that the, uh, the epic leap of last week was going to come up at some point in this interview. Was that paused in film yet? Have we done that? Has uh, Shanahan done the old circle on that thing? And is that <laughs> something he does in team meetings? Uh, luckily, Kyle didn't point it out, but I definitely heard uh, heard about it from my running back coach, Bobby Turner. And let me just clear the air. I didn't think I was going to clear everybody. Oh, okay. It's just when I turned up field and there's legit six defenders closing on me, I thought maybe I could take a hit off myself if I just jumped oh, in the air mm. instead of taking shots from six different directions. So that that's where my mind was at. So you're playing smart football. Let them all hit my legs. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then instead of the body or whatever, I'll survive to live and see another day. Speaking of see another day, Zito has to clear something up with the screen. Back in action with us, ladies and gentlemen. Kyle Juszczyk, a little bit clearer, that's on us on our end. We apologize. It's great to have you here. Let's talk about a couple weeks ago, wherever you were in motion just pancaking people who spotlighted it was on national TV. But let's talk about the Niners as a whole. You guys are hot, man. There seemed to be a little bit of a time where people were questioning a lot that was going on in that building. You guys have found something special. What has it been, you think, from behind closed doors? Yeah, uh, the boys over here were rolling, man. And we feel like it's because we got back to who we are. We got to our, back to our brand of football. Um, and quite simply, it's it's running the ball and it's playing solid defense and getting turnovers. Um, and Kyle went into our game three weeks ago against L.A. And the night before, he spoke about our goal was to get 40 runs in that game. And what you guys know in today's NFL, that's just an insane amount of runs. It's just you don't see it week to week. You don't see it around the league. Um, and even himself, he kind of questioned himself when he threw out the number 40. Usually... 30 is going to get you a win. Uh, but he was feeling himself. He was feeling excited. He went with 40. Uh, and we ended up getting 44 runs in that game and knocked off a really good L.A. Rams team. Um, but I also got to I got to throw out there that you don't get that amount of runs without converting on third downs and being efficient in an offense. And um, so it's not it hasn't just been our run game. It's also been Jimmy um, playing very efficiently and converting and getting first downs. So it all plays into one another, but we just feel like we're back to our brand of football. A huge part of that run game is obviously you and George Kittle, both you guys, seems like you never lose when you're in, in run blocking. You're always coming back across the ball, cutting down D ends, trying to get the edge. Like, Are you like a new version of what the old school fullback would have been? I know you when you came in the league, you played with Vonta Leach, right, for, for a yep. little bit? Yep, yeah, Bonta, that was my mentor coming into the league. Big head, big scary guy that was an absolute bulldozer. Like you, you can do it all. It seems like at the fullback position. Yeah, you know, it, I've I've been fortunate that um, you know in college I, I was a tight end, I was an H back, but um, to be honest, I was kind of a glorified slot receiver. Like I was in the slot like eighty percent of the time, and then I had to adapt. Uh, you know, I'm not six three, so I wasn't going to be drafted as a tight end. Needed to learn how to play fullback. Um, and luckily enough, my first year I did have, I had Vontae Leach as my, as my mentor. And he kind of brought that part of my game around, that physicality, um, that being able to lead up in the hole and to, um, you know, be physical, take on linebackers head to head. And so I feel like I kind of mixed, you know, like my athletic side with the more physical brand of football, especially playing in a city like Baltimore who's just known for being a physical team in general. Um, and over the years, I've been able to just kind of mesh the two things together and kind of feel like I'm, at, I'm playing my best ball now at, at 30 years old. And Shannon, you said Shanahan said if we run the ball 40 times or we wanted to run 40 times, and then I'm thinking back to that game, you guys just 
handled them. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, you guys knew going into the game, I guess, that that was going to happen. And has that been, is that what you mean when you say get back to our brand of football? Like, you guys know you can be dominant running the ball. It's not too long ago in the NFC Championship game, you ran for 182 yards before contact yeah. against the Green Bay <laughs> Packers. And last season, all hell breaks loose. This year, you guys feel like you're back, huh? All the way back to what you were that one year, a couple years ago? I mean, that definitely that was the plan, uh, and that's what we wanted to do going into the game. It doesn't always work out how you plan, obviously. Um, you know, you can go in, and I, we're going to call 40 runs, and you call two run plays on first and second down, and you're looking at third and eight, and you don't convert, and you're punting. You know, like that, that can happen too. Um, but uh, the offensive line has just done uh, such a good job of moving um, defensive players. And then you see uh, Elijah Mitchell. Has, has just been a, a spark for us, as well as Debo Samuel in the run game. Debo. And these guys do such a good job of uh, yards after contact, where you know maybe a, blo- uh, a run play is blocked for two yards, but they're coming out of it with six. And Kyle talks about it all the time. Calling um, a second and four play versus a second and eight play can be such a huge difference as a play caller and really um, you know, puts the, the strain on a defense. Hey, what's Kyle Shanahan like? We, we see him on the sidelines, flat bill, nice little manicured, a little half beard he, he has. He always <laughs> looks good, cool. looks under control. Is he truly like this offensive genius guru guy that just lives to try to f- draw up plays that can beat different coverages? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I feel like um, what he portrays is really kind of who Kyle is. He really is. He, he's a cool guy, um, very down to earth, can relate with uh, the players very well. Um, but definitely he, he's a, a – He's a guru, man. He's a genius. He's a wizard. Whatever word you want to put on it, he can see, um, you know, he can see how a defense is going to react and anticipate it and be ready for it and draw up plays um, that will take advantage of things that they're doing uh, before they've even shown it on tape. He's he a just, wizard. Yeah, he, he's he has such a good and and I think the wizard. biggest thing. That's good. Um, that he has an understanding of defense, and that's you know sometimes that's the you know you you don't think of that about that. You know, as an offensive coordinator, you think, you know, offense, offense, offense. Right? Let me, you know, scheme up all these crazy looking plays and all that. But it really comes down to being understanding what the defense is doing and understanding what their roles are and being able to take advantage of that. Yeah, attacking like classic coverages, right? Like, we have to run this because their rules tell them that if we do this, they have to do this. Bang, that opens up this. It's actual chess in what Kyle Shanahan's doing. It's thinking for the other person. Exactly. When you know what the other person's rules are, that's when you can really turn it on their head and, and use it against them. Uh, let's talk about uh, Jimmy G. You talked about him being incredibly efficient, and I saw him make some plays this past weekend. I only got to see the highlights. It wasn't on a full TV. He made some throws that were just unbelievable, and it like it reminded us of the Jimmy G run when you guys went to the Super Bowl, and obviously he has that one miss, then leads to a full conversation, then Trey Lance gets drafted, and three overall they trade away. But the entire mission from, in the, the statement from Lynch and Shanahan, was when Jimmy's healthy, he's our quarterback. What has happened when he gets hurt is we stink. We have a plan for Jimmy G and everything like that. Jimmy's played great. You guys have started to win. Is there any sort of behind-the-scenes awkwardness? Because it feels like Jimmy has handled this thing perfectly. You know, I can genuinely say that there really hasn't been any awkwardness. And you, I mean, we all understand how there could be. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's no secret that we traded three first-round draft picks to get Trey Lance. You know, we all hear the noise about what's been said about Jimmy and all those kind of things. So it's it's not like we're blind to it or anything. We all know what's going on. But he really has handled it so well. And um, it's I feel like us drafting Trey has been one of the better things for him. Uh, it definitely has pushed him. It's made him, you know, focus just a little bit more. Um, and he's he's been a better player since Trey has been here. Um, so I think he's he's just handled it so well. And um, taking it on in, in, in the right way, because he knows, uh, regardless of what happens in the future, if he doesn't play well right now, that's not going to bode well for him, whether it's here again next year or anywhere else. So at the end of the day, you just got to play well. And um, he, he's done a good job of taking that on. Go ahead, Connor. Yeah, you mentioned uh, Debo Samuel playing running back. How did that happen? Because he's been killing <laughs> it at wide receiver. He has over 1,000 yards, I believe. Did he, in practice one time, you know, just have to fill in? Or how did that come about? You know, I for for years now, um, we, we usually we hand him the ball once or twice a game, and it's usually been on some sort of 
uh, reverse or end around or anything like that. Um, but we're like, okay, you know, I mean, teams are going to start catching on anytime Debo's uh, getting the ball. He's running outside. So I think it was L.A. was one of the first times uh, that we gave him the ball inside on just a, a, a pure power play, which uh, I, I don't think you'll f- find any other receivers doing that. But you look at the build of Debo and you wouldn't think he's a receiver anyways. He, he looks like Marshawn Lynch out there. And, and his so, name is Debo. <laughs> and his name is Debo. <laughs> and he ran, he ran it so naturally and so efficiently and just smoothly that I don't think Kyle's had a, really much of a choice. He's, I mean, we got to give the guy the ball. He's, I mean, he's averaging almost, I think, 10 a clip, you know. So um, the more he's gotten it, just the better he's gotten. And so we just feel like it's, it's another tool in our, our, our toolbox here, and we have to take advantage of it. Cordero Patterson having an incredible year as running back, too, as yeah. a former wide receiver. Yeah. It's been awesome to watch both those guys crush it. Go ahead, Ty. Kyle, you kind of touched on it, but what's it like being teammates with George Kittle? Like, you see, like, his personality and everything. He is awesome. Go Hawks, by the way. Uh, but, <laughs> like, it's, it's very obvious, like, how much, I don't want to say better, but, like, you guys just go when you and him are both on the field at the same time. Man, it's awesome. Uh, George is, you know, I've been teammates with him now for five years and he's become a really, really close friend of mine. Um, but one of the cool things about him is, you know, a couple years ago, he set the uh, all time receiving record for tight ends. And you don't expect a guy like that who's had, you know, the, the glory of, of catching the football and doing all the fun stuff to be so into the run game and so wanting to block and wanting to be physical and it trickles down to all the other guys because now go out there if you pull up our tape you'll see brandon Ayuk, debo samuels juan jennings our receivers are getting after it in the run game uh it's from snap to whistle being physical going after guys head hunting and uh i think that's a trickle down yeah. um from guys like george and seeing that yeah you know you can go out there be successful in the past game score a lot of touchdowns get all the fame do that kind of stuff um, but it is, it's still cool to go out there and block, too, because uh, winning really uh, surpasses all that stuff. Yeah, when you win, there's enough to go around. You guys really like each other in that locker room, huh? Yeah, man, that's that's one of the cool things. I feel like we have a really tight uh, bond around here, a really cool locker room. That is, that's a big deal. Yeah. Hey, that's one of the biggest deals, especially going into December football. <laughs> yes, right. Hey, Kyle, uh-huh. Kyle, i got a quick go quick last one for me, Kyle. You ever, is Joe Montana ever uh, floating around the facility, and is there any way you could get any confirmation that he – Stopped an intruder by throwing his uh, one of his Super Bowl balls at the intruder and catching his grandkid after he slid down the banister. <laughs> <laughs> no confirmation there. I think I've, I'm, I might have seen him once or twice here uh, in the years that I've been here, but we don't see him too much. Don't throw if you could in. ask him about that, we'd be very yeah. very yeah, 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 I'll make sure to ask for you guys. Okay, thank you, Kyle. Thanks, it's very nice. Make sure you word it in the proper fashion so he knows we're not being condescending. Right. Yeah. Yeah, he was a hero. <laughs> he we absolutely yeah, hero. We're, yeah. we're making yeah. him a hero. <laughs> Go ahead, Diggs. Uh, Mr. Juice, a lot of talk around here about how uh, versatile Debo is, but, you know, so are you. So now if he has to miss some time because of a groin issue or whatever, are you just going to slide directly into his role and maybe just take the carries and touches that he was getting? Are you going to go up to I Shane mean, I'm def- I've definitely had some conversations with Kyle uh, for just that case. You know, I don't know if he's going to take me up on on the offer because I offer to take his Debo spot if he wants me to. Very nice. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll find out tomorrow and install – how much of that I really get. Yeah, tell us what the game plan is going into this weekend. <laughs> yeah, <perfect. laughs> I'll make sure I'll, I'll take some screenshots and I'll send them over to Mike. Uh, just tweet them, man. We'll get it. We'll see it. <laughs> yeah. Put them out there on the internet. Uh, Zito just dropped in my ear a nice little nugget. Um, congratulations are in order. We're a little bit late, but better late than never. First ever Harvard grad to score a touchdown in the Super Bowl. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. wow. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you. Harvard. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, hopefully not the last, but yeah, thank you. Do all your uh, super smart Harvard friends just come up with ideas for you to angel invest money into all the time? Is that what happens with you? Uh, I mean, I definitely I, I got some uh, voices in my ear and I, I listen to some of them. Uh, but I, I've got some good good people to lean back on for that kind of stuff. Yeah, I just assumed like I went to, you know, Griff Whalen was on our team and he was in the class that Snapchat was created in as a school project. And I'm like, if you sit <laughs> In a different side of the fucking room, that fake that happened against the Patriots never, ever happened. No, no. <laughs> never, ever happened. That happens at Harvard. That type of stuff happens at Stanford. I don't think that was happening in West Virginia. I wouldn't have known. I wasn't there. But uh, that, that is something. That, did, is there anybody you graduated alongside that is like any 
future presidents you think or anything like that out of Harvard? I just assume it's an insane cast of characters. I mean, I, we'll find out. I'm sure there's, there's somebody in our class, but um, I mean, my, my whole friend group is just full of, you know, investment bankers, consultants, uh, oh. venture capitalists, oh. all that. It's just a lot of successful guys around me. Just so much money being yeah. tossed around to each <laughs> oh, other. Yeah. Oh my God, that's awesome. We can't thank you enough for joining us, Kyle, in the middle of a busy week. Good luck this weekend. Congrats on all the success. It seems like you guys have figured it out again over there. Yeah, thanks, guys. Always a pleasure. Remember, Montana, Ball, uh -huh. Beak, Baby, Bannister. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you. Kyle Yuschek. Thank you, yeah! Thank you, Kyle. He's awesome. Yeah, he's the man. Yeah. He got a new deal right this past off season, I think. Mm -hmm. It was shortly yeah. after we talked to him because he was a free agent. He was like, we'll see where I end up, you know. And it was like, maybe Baltimore, maybe there. Mm -hmm. San Fran keeps him home, AJ. That's a big deal. I think Kyle Shanahan absolutely loves having him in the lineup. He's, he's huge. He and Kittle both, man. They, they are a force when they're together. It's They're out trying to outdo each other. This is like you and uh, Kuhn in practice, you know? Mm, yep. We're trying to outdo each other. It feels like that is a, a Juice and Kittle thing because Kittle gets so much credit for his blocking, and Juice is this undersized fullback that if you see – by the way, Kittle should. That, I'm not, that's not a knock, but I assume Juice takes a lot of pride in that as well. When he's in motion, I mean, it's all, I don't want to say it's easy to know where the ball – the ball is normally going wherever the fuck you check is headed. Yeah. Literally, it's it's headed wherever he's going. Now there is some misdirection, some you know rule breakers and and things like that. But he is a massive part of that entire thing. It is awesome to watch from like the sky cam angle almost. He's tough when he does like a, that motion when you go like behind or just the ball is snapping. He goes behind the center, and you're thinking, okay, it's like a split zone. They're going to run the ball maybe that way. He could flash that D end like he's going to block him and then sneak out to the flat. And boom, it's a pass. But like that's the stuff that makes. That when you're on defense, it makes it tough, and you can't just sit there and play all the way, run or pass. You never really know. How about a Harvard brain embracing the fullback, mm -hmm. by the yeah. way? Oh, yeah. mentality. That's awesome. Good for him. I assume all those investment bankers, by the way. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. The VCs. Swimming in it. Dude, it's just cartoon money up there. They, yeah. all just, they toss it around. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It all just goes like this. I'm sure. It just grows and grows and grows. All the money. I wonder, like, how many people from Harvard don't do well that's, once they get out? Uh, I don't think there is. Do people do that? I don't think so. Yeah, Ty Kaczynski, but well, yeah. Did he graduate? Did he, did he make it all the way through? I know they had that program. <laughs> he was a professor in Michigan. From. I know that yeah. they did have that program. For so did Diggs take a class with him? <laughs> all right. If he did, if he did online, then maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> all right, we got to move on. Let's do that. <laughs>